Hey there, folks. I just have uh, another book report. Uh, this time it is titled Saving General Washington by J.R. Norton. Uh, the Right Wing Assault on America's Founding Principles. Um, I checked this out at the library because I love libraries and I want to get my name on all those little lists of people that check out subversive books like this one about American history telling uh, in its own way, the the real story about America's secular founders. Um, this book uh, is basically uh, talking about the uh, current administration under uh, uh, George W. Bush um, and uh, his allies, uh, kind of comparing and contrasting um, this uh, gang of politicians uh, versus the statesman who uh, founded the United States of America and um, in part uh, just kind of was interested in uh, the aspect of uh, free thinking versus uh, what's kind of going on now the uh, uh, kind of uh, rewriting of history that has been going on trying to uh, turn the United States of America as founded by uh, Jefferson, Madison, Adams, George Washington, all those guys, uh, free thinkers, and uh, trying to recast that as being some kind of uh, establishment of a kind of a church, some kind of Christian church. Um, and obviously, you know, anytime you really look at the history of the United States, you're going to find out that, well, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the founders were not interested in founding a Christian nation. Um, what's you know the the style is is pretty readable. One thing that's sort of cute is that like at the end of the chapters, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but uh, he puts in little uh, stories of uh, newspaper headlines. He wishes uh, we had been able to read like uh, what if. Bush were really uh, comparable to our founders. Uh, this one that I picked up uh, says a headline that he wished he had been able to read in the paper. Bush rebukes Kansas State Board of Education over intelligent design ruling. Um, and it quotes the uh, fictitious uh, George Bush, the alternate George Bush, the anti-Bush. I believe in God and I believe he created the world, but I don't see why my religious beliefs belong in a science classroom any more than one of those crazy religions where the earth rides around on a turtle or Odin, the All-Father, presides over an eternal battle in Valhalla or some crazy Egyptian ram god created the universe on a potter's wheel or whatever, with all due respect. So, it's kind of cute, it's got a good tone, but it has all its facts. It's, uh, it's loaded with facts, which is uh, typical of a you know, a liberal atheist. So, anyway, uh, I'm not saying that this guy's necessarily an atheist. Uh, I'm just uh, saying a free thinker, let's say. Free thinkers generally want to support their opinions with facts. Um, it's up to the right wing and the religious right to uh, rewrite history uh, the way they wished it had been. But instead of saying, hey, it's kind of a joke, you know, they're teaching kids this stuff, and the kids are going to grow up believing, oh, you know, Jesus Christ established the United States of America with the help of Thomas Jefferson and Thomas Paine. Yeah, right. Anyhow, I like the book.